Well, Mike Rowe has, of course, long been a champion of dignified, old-fashioned labor, the kind where you get dirty, but that doesn't mean he is closed-minded or averse to new technologies. In fact, his new show, Returning the Favor, is one of the biggest things on Facebook. Impressive. Talent runs in his family as well. Mike Rowe's mother, Peggy, has a brand new book coming out tomorrow. It's called About My Mother, True Stories of a Horse-Crazy Daughter and Her Baseball-Obsessed Mother. Mike and Peggy Rowe join us tonight, and we are grateful they are here. Peggy, as you know, your husband is a folk your husband, your son is a folk hero on this show, beloved by our viewers and husband, us. You made it weird, Tucker. You I, made it I, weird. You, you know what? I'm so you <laughs> promised you wouldn't make it weird. You didn't tell me it was that kind of show. I swear he said G-rated it just like that. No. I can see that he is your son. I'm so impressed. Yes, you he didn't is. even. But what was he like when he was younger? Oh God. You won't believe it, but he was very shy. Really? He was. He was. In fact, when somebody would come to the front door, sometimes he would just dive under the kitchen table or into the hall closet. And he was a neat freak. He didn't want to get dirty. He so I was going to ask you what's the most embarrassing thing, but I think you already you already told us he <laughs> dove into the hall closet. How did you get him out? Well, when the people left, he, he came out. <laughs> Great. Now the I... headline tomorrow is Mike Rose mom explains how he came out of the closet. Thanks, Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job. <laughs> I, I knew I could. I knew I could get it. That, my skill as an interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> is that story in the book, Mrs. Rowe? Not in this book, but it's in my next book. <laughs> it's a pop-up. <laughs> it's a pop-up. So, have you read this book, Mike? Read it. I wrote the foreword to it. And honestly, you know what makes you awesome? Last time I was on your show, we were talking about good news. And I said, the next time I'm bringing my mother, and you said, go ahead, and you meant it. So I'm sitting oh, here yeah. with my mother because she's written the ultimate book of good news. This is, she's been writing me stories for years. I started reading them on Facebook. Publishers fell in love with them, and a book popped out. And this is a book, 19 stories about growing up next to her mother, my Nana, and the two of them together, absolutely nothing in common, loved each other dearly for 70 years. And this book, in these times, in my humble estimation, Tucker, and I don't want to overstate it, Mom, and I don't want to gild the lily in front of you, but this is the balm our country needs. You heard it from me. B-A-L-M. That's and right. I absolutely believe that. No, I, and I'm, I'm sincere. This is exactly what we need. And I, I would say all of our viewers, no matter who they voted for, what they think, no matter who they pray to, um, are fans of yours and now of your mom's. How long did it take you to write this, Mrs. Rowe? Well, I've been writing it for years, actually. I have written several stories over the years and published them in newspapers and magazines. And the response was so positive. People loved a feel-good story, and yes. they're true. And so I decided to write some more and put them together in a book. You want the true story, Tucker? Yes. She comes home from Macy's one day and says, you'll never believe what Nana did. I said, what happened? She said, well, I was pushing her in a wheelchair, and she saw an Orioles jersey. She was crazy for the Orioles. She leaps out of her wheelchair, takes off her blouse, puts on the Orioles jersey. My mother has a heart attack, says, Mom, what are you doing? Nana <laughs> says, nobody cares. I'm an old woman in a bra, right? Then she knocks a mannequin that. over. The head falls off, rolls down the aisle. People start scattering. Mom comes home and says, Michael... I think the time has come to write a book about your grandmother. <laughs> so Nana was not hiding in the hall closet when people came over. She sounds no. like no. <laughs> she's pretty she self-confident. <laughs> she I was love awesome. That. It I sounds, hope you'll... It I'm sounds sorry? unbelievable, but every word was true that he just said. Oh, by the way, everything the Roe family tells us, we take at face value. You are mm. the most believable people we know. And I hope you will both come back. And congrats on the book. God bless. I'm getting it tonight. No joke. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, one good turn deserves another. Mom picked this up today and she can't put it down. Ship of Fools. <laughs> Fantastic. My kind don't, of reading. Don't read it. It'll make you sad. It was great to see you both. Thank you very much. And Thanks, Doctor. Thank you for having me. Be well. Appreciate it. See ya.